Hello all of you beautiful people, Jules here for WhatCulture.com, and you know what, one of the many great things about video games over other forms of media is the sheer depth of exploration they encourage, and as a result, developers have a tendency to hide devious secrets for players to seek out. But the ones that make up this list, well they're slightly different, because most people playing this will just be like, huh? I, I guess that was weird, but for those real hardcore fans, they'll be like, hey buddy, that's real good, I love that stuff, get it in my veins. Mm. To gather round and let's separate the chaff from the hardcore as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 video game secret screens only hardcore fans will understand. Ho, ho, hold on there, dear friends. I know we're all very excited to crack on with today's list, but before we do, just want to remind you that this festive season, it's important to reach out and connect with your friends and loved ones and then go crush loads of demons and ghouls and monsters with them. That's right, open your festive advert calendar because we are partnering with Rage Shadow Legends for today's video. Now, you know all about this game by now. It's the AAA mobile experience that you can play anytime, anywhere, now on both mobile and desktop. Now that there are two different ways to play, the raid is an absolute riot. There are 10 really challenging dungeons, each with a very unfriendly boss you're gonna have to strategize to beat. But if a compelling narrative is more of your thing, it's got an awesome, fully voiced campaign across 12 unique locations. There's also 13 unique factions like Knights, Orcs, and the Undead, with 460 unique champions, each with their own skills, design, and strengths. If you want to buddy up though, there are over 200,000 active clans, meaning there's 25 million people playing the game worldwide. Combine all this and there is almost an infinite number of ways to play the game and there's never been a better time to get started than now. This month though, Raid have released their biggest ever update, the Doom Tower. 120 floors of secret challenge rooms, 12 very unfriendly bosses, and 14 awesome new champions just in time for the holidays. So naturally, we have a load of free goodies and bulwark this guy gift wrapped and ready to give to you. To get all this, all you have to do is hit the link in the description and new players will get the free void champion bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an ancient shard as soon as you get in the game. To get all that, all you do is you take this magical pointing finger and you just hit that one and it all lives there. You can try and challenge me in game if you like. The name is Big Magic Cleary and I might even let you join my clan. Well, no, actually, I will definitely let you join my clan because it's really hard and I die all the time. Anyway, here's that list we promised you. Enjoy! Number 10. Whimsy Shire Diablo 3 Diablo 3 features a secret level called Whimsy Shire, an ultra-colourful and sprightly land teeming with ferocious enemies such as well, flowers, unicorns and teddy bears. After going through a frankly ridiculous number of steps, you'll be able to find a rainbow-coloured portal which will transport you to this land, which to the uninitiated might seem like the most randomly silly easter egg level ever made, except this is an in-joke for long-time fans of the series, and effectively a parody of Diablo 2's infamous Secret Cow Level, a hidden level containing a fleet of murderous bipedal cows. The Secret Cow Level was itself also an in-joke after rumours spread that the original Diablo had a secret bovine level, and though it sadly wasn't true, developers Blizzard decided to reward players for their ingenuity in the sequel. And so, by the time that Diablo 3 dished up Whimsy Shire, which was also said to be a clap back at fans who felt that the game looked too clean and colourful, you'd need to be fully invested in the series' meta to have any idea of what the hell was going on. Number 9. The Gaben Room – Half-Life The original Half-Life contains a real head-scratcher of a secret room for anyone not in the know, especially back in 1998 when the groundbreaking first-person shooter first hit stores. Players are able to access an unsettling thing known as the Gaben Room. By getting to the memorable head crab elevator sequence and then using the no-clip console cheat to phase through the bottom of the elevator into a black void. Switch on your flashlight and you'll find a cube filled with images of a man's face. What those unvirtual First in Valve fandom would know, of course, is that this was the face of the company's beloved co-founder, Gabe Newell. Though Newell is relatively well known online nowadays thanks to a spate of memes created in his image, anyone who's toyed around with the no-clip cheat and found this room on their own accord back in the day, well, it was surely a baffling discovery. Number 8. The Constipated Max Payne QR Code – Alan Wake 
Remedy Entertainment has won itself a loyal legion of fans across its various video game franchises such as Max Payne, Alan Wake, Quantum Break, and Control, and evidently loves rewarding those clued-up obsessives who pay close attention. Alan Wake is littered with nods to the Max Payne series, including an extremely bizarre and obscure one included in the game's PC version. Head upstairs in the Cauldron Lake Lodge during the game's fourth episode, The Truth, and you'll find a QR code. Scan the code with your phone and you'll be redirected to a strange gif of a man pulling a pained face with the subtitle, Constipation, that looks painful. This is all a reference to the original Max Payne, where the gun-toting protagonist's face model was infamously said to bear a constipated expression. In the gif, the man featured is none other than Sam Lake, who not only served as the original aforementioned Max Payne character model, but also wrote the first two games in the series and co-penned Alan Wake itself. The gif is actually taken from a talk show video clip which appears later on in the game's sixth chapter, and yet to anyone coming to Alan Wake without knowing any of Remedy's prior works, this just seems completely and utterly hilariously random. Number 7. The Leap of Faith – Watch Dogs Legion Much like Remedy, Scooby Dooby Ubisoft loves to include references to their other franchise in their new games, and the recent Watch Dog Legion saw them offer up a pretty amusing nod to the Assassin's Creed series. During the game's Gap in the Armor mission, you'll need to break into the home of a drone designer, which requires you to first head up to the roof and hack a terminal. But players who venture too near the roof's edge will be launched into a pretty unexpected cutscene, as their character takes a courageous dive down into the drink below. Anyone playing Legion without much familiarity to the Assassin's Creed series will probably think that it's just a bit odd, but this is of course a reference to the iconic Leap of Faith animation performed by assassins when diving from towering structures down to a cushioning hay bale below. As a cherry on top, they even included the ridiculous soaring eagle sound effect when you make the jump. Number 6. John Romero is the true final boss, Doom 2 Doom 2 ends with a boss fight against a giant biomechanical goat head known as the Icon of Sin, and though you can finish it off with a few trusty rockets to the face, the real final boss is actually hidden somewhere else. Players who use the no-clip cheat are able to go through the Icon of Sin entirely and discover a secret room behind it. In here, you'll be graced with the presence of the game's legendary lead designer John Romero. Well, in actuality, it's his bloody head stuck on a pike. Shooting his head repeatedly will finally bring the game to an end, which to anyone unaware of Romero's celebrity, especially at the time of the game's original release in 1994, must have seemed completely ridiculous. Better still, during the proper final boss fight against the Icon of Sin, the creature lets out an imperceptible growl, which when reversed is actually Romero saying, to win the game, you must kill me, John Romero. Much as Romero might be the gaming industry's go-to egomaniac, it's hard not to admire his ghoul. Number 5. Chris Houlihan's Secret Room – The Legend of Zelda – A Link to the Past the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past contains a bizarre secret room which can be accessed in several ways, most commonly using the Pegasus boots to dash from the sanctuary all the way to the sewer passage's entrance, causing Link to fall into an underground room. This room will contain 45 blue rupees for players to hoover up, and upon touching the telepathy tile on the back wall, a message will be displayed, saying, My name is Chris Houlihan, this is my top secret room. Keep it between us, okay? It feels totally out of place for a Zelda game because, above all else, who the hell in high rule is even named Chris anyway, though if you've been a hardcore Zelda fan since the early years, you might remember that this was actually part of a competition run by Nintendo Power magazine in late 1990. Only in the 2000s with the global adoption of the internet did the room become more widely known, but even then, it's still a firmly niche, mystifying slice of gaming history. Number 4. Roasted Pork – Star Wars Battlefront 2 Star Wars Battlefront 2 offers up a rather amusing secret in its multiplayer suite, where in the resurgent class Star Destroyer map, players are able to actually order a meal from several of the food distributors in the mess hall. Among the available dishes is one that translates to Endorian Tip Yip Chicken, though even a cursory inspection of the tray suggests the meat is something else entirely. The physical characteristics of the cooked bird look incredibly similar to the porgs introduced in Star Wars The Last Jedi especially given that Chewbacca literally roasts one in the movie. Yet, unless you're really into your Star Wars lore, you'll understandably just gloss over it completely. Number 3. The Donkey Lady's Corpse – Red Dead Redemption 2 Red Dead Redemption 2 absolutely rewards players who venture off the beaten track, and anyone who visits the ruinous locale of the Two Crows in the Chola Springs region of New Austin will find an eerie sight – the skeletal remains of a woman tied to a mill. But the weird thing is, is that her head resembles that of a donkey. If at first glance this might just seem like another creepy affectation from Rockstar – remember the game does actually also feature a serial killer subplot, for example – it's actually an extremely 
strongly pointed reference to the infamous Donkey Lady glitch from the first Red Dead Redemption. In that game, players could stumble across a female NPC which accidentally bore the head of a donkey, and better still, it was inadvertently programmed as a mount, allowing players to ride it around. The clip quickly went viral upon Red Dead Redemption's release, and so in the sequel, Rockstar decided to pay off attentive players by revealing the Donkey Lady's grim fate. Number 2. The WOW Screen Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time in addition to being a damn fine platformer, Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is a glorious exercise in fan service, and that's never better felt than in one of the game's late levels, A Hole in Space. As Crash grinds along a quantum rift sending him through dimensions, players will be able to collect Wampa fruit along the rail, but scooping up all 18 pieces is easier said than done. Players who do, however, will be greeted with a bombardment of low-res glimpses of Crash as he repeatedly screeches, WOW, while the word also fills up the screen. For those playing as Coco, Wow is replaced with yeah. Though newcomers to the series might simply assume this to be a byproduct of the game's interdimensional shenanigans, it's actually a direct reference to a 2016 meme in which YouTuber Oni repeatedly shouted wow while jumping in the air in Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. It's one hell of a deep cut to give the true fans a laugh and leave everyone else wondering if somebody slipped something into their drink. And number one, the Ladder Goat DVD, Call of Juarez, The Cartel. Call of Juarez, The Cartel features a most peculiar Easter egg in its 12th chapter. Near the start of the level, meticulous players can find a DVD hidden under a tree entitled Ladder Goat, The Movie. This will pop the game's aptly titled Ladder Goat Secret Achievement. And while it might first seem like nothing more than a daft hidden extra, it's actually a direct callback to an infamous glitch from the prior Call of Juarez game, Bound in Blood. That game contained a hilarious bug in its 14th chapter where players were able to witness a goat levitating its way up a ladder as if by magic, with videos of the phenomenon going quickly viral back in 2009. Unless you were thoroughly invested in the series' continuity back in the day, the cartel's ridiculous reference would have flown clean over your head. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 video game secret screens that only hardcore fans will understand. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice as my personal gaming channel, where I stream every single Wednesday and Sunday. But before I go, my friends, I just want to say one thing. I hope that you are doing well right now. Yes, you listening to this video and treating yourself fairly, both mentally and physically. I know that it's been a very tough year, and indeed, things might continue to be tough for a fair old while after, but I just want to make sure that you are doing well and treating yourself with love and respect because you bloody well deserve it, okay? And don't let anything or anyone else tell you otherwise. Now go up there and absolutely smash it, you big ledge. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.